let's see this question from gate 2023 from soil mechanics so this question will give you an idea about how we solve for stratified soils and how we tackle the idea of head loss which is very confusing to a lot of students so let's see this question it says for the flow setup shown in the figure the hydraulic conductivities of the two soil samples soil 1 and soil 2 are 10 mm per second and 1 mm per second so these two soils are given and their hydraulic conductivity or the value of coefficient of permeability it is given as for the first soil it is 10 mm per second and for the second soil this value is 1 mm per second then it says assume the unit weight of water as 10 kN per meter cube so unit weight of water gamma w it is given as 10 kN per meter cube and ignore the velocity head so generally when we talk about total head it is the summation of pressure head plus velocity head plus the datum head but when we talk about soil i mean flow in soils so generally the velocity head is very small and we neglect it so the total head is the summation of pressure head plus datum head so that's what we have here then it says at steady state what is the total head in meter rounded off to two decimal places at the point located at the junction of the two samples so at this sam at this junction of the two samples between soil 1 and soil 2 it is asking for the total head at this point so that's what we need to find out here so first of all we need to find out what is the total head before the flow takes place so if we see above this soil sample before the water even enters the soil even the first soil what will be the total head so as we have written total head will be the summation of datum head and pressure head in case of these examples datum i mean we need to take one point as a datum so tail water level tail water level by convention is taken as the datum to solve these questions so this is our datum head i mean datum point here so from here till this point above the soil what will be the datum head so here you can see till this point the height is 3 meter so that is given to us so datum head is 3 meter now coming to the pressure head so for pressure head first of all from this point the height of water above this point is total 1 meter so 1 meter will be the pressure for that and there is some additional pressure applied here so we need to take care of that also so additional pressure of 10 kPa is applied at the top so because of that if we convert that 10 kPa in pressure head so pressure head is given as pressure divided by the unit weight of the fluid so unit weight here is a unit weight of water itself so this will give us 1 meter so 1 meter was already because of this existing water which was present plus because of this additional pressure that is applied so 1 plus 1 the total head before the flow takes place becomes 5 meter so that is the total head now once we have total head we can go for the flow equation so we know from the Darcy's law for these soils the flow is given as Q or the discharge is given as Q is equal to K I A now because it's a stratified soil so we use the idea of K equivalent instead of just K I A now now what will be the value of k equivalent here so here we have these soil samples in this way one after the other so when the water flows it has to flow through each sample one after the other so head loss will be different in each of these so head loss in first soil will not be equal to head loss in second one but at the same time the value of discharge whatever discharge is going through soil 1 will be equal to value of discharge in the soil 2 because they are kind of a series connection thing where discharge will be the same between the two so for these kind of soils i am not deriving here but by derivation we see we achieve the formula for this equivalent permeability which is l or h sometimes as we write l upon l1 upon k1 plus l2 upon k2 
K2 and this L here is nothing but the summation of L1 plus L2 or whatever is the number of layers. So that equation we can use I mean directly I'll be putting the value so the discharge for the entire soil if we see for the whole setup if we see so we have discharge is equal to K which is L L1 plus L2 that is 1 meter plus 1 meter divided by L1 upon K1 so we know these values 1 upon K1 is 10 mm per second plus L2 is 1 meter and K2 is 1 mm per second and times the value of I or hydraulic gradient so I is given as head loss divided by total length of flow so total head loss as we are seeing before the flow takes place the head is 5 meter and at the datum point or at the tail level that total head becomes 0. So total head loss is 5 meter and it is happening over the length of the soil. So we don't consider that in this part where just water is there there will be any water loss I mean there will be any head loss the head loss takes place when the water flows through the soil. So 5 by 2 that will be the value of hydraulic gradient times A. So there is no information given to us about the area, cross sectional area. So let's just keep it as A. So from here if you solve this will become 2 upon 11 upon 10 times 5 by 2 times A or we can write it as 50 by 11 A. So that is the value of discharge now in these kind of soils as I earlier said that the discharge remains constant because the same flow and whatever water is going from the first soil will be passing to the second soil. So now we can apply this same equation same Q is equal to KIA for the first soil. So if we apply for the first soil so this will remain as Q, K will become K1 i will become i1 and area will remain same because there is no change in cross sectional area so q the value of q we know 50 by 11 times a the value of k1 the coefficient of permeability that is 10 mm per second so that is k1 here i which is has to be i1 here so i1 will be head loss in first soil hl1 divided by length length of flow so head loss in first soil we don't know how much head loss is taking place length of flow is just one meter this height here every height is just one meter here so that is one and times a so if you put that value so we have 10 times head loss in first soil divided by length of flow that is one times area so this area here it will cancel out and this will be from here if we find the head loss in first soil so it comes out to be 5 by 11 now now once we have head loss in first soil we can find out the head loss or sorry we can find out the total head at the junction that's what it has asked for so we know initially the total head total head was 5 meter and then some head loss took place in the soil one which we know now so at the junction the total head remaining total head remaining will be equal to 5 minus 5 by 11 or 55 minus 5 by 11 that is 50 by 11 so once we solve this it will be 4.545 or if we approx this value so we can approx it at 4.54 meter and that is the head total head at the junction which is what they had asked now this is the final answer here you can understand what all we have done so first of all in this example one thing to keep in mind that we take this tail water as the datum then so based on that we have found out the total head in this particular question they had applied additional pressure here so we had to account for that 
and that gave us additional pressure head of 1 meter so total head became 5 meter and once we had that after that it's just the basic understanding of stratified soil how we find out the hydraulic conductivity in the stratified soils so based on that and then the basic idea how we use the discharge if this if it was a different question where soils were placed in this manner the horizontal manner and the flow was taking place then in each of these layers the discharge would be different but at the same time in each of these layers the head loss would be the same so that is just the basic understanding of stratified soil you can go through that then you will be able to solve all these kind of questions